So this is the first video in a series of videos on CSS editing for a subreddit. You know, because if, if you're a moderator of a subreddit, you can edit to your heart's content on do whatever you want to it, basically. So we're just going to go over the basics in this video, a couple of things you need to know, and then later videos we'll do specific things, you know, backgrounds, colors of the links, this picture over here, this background, banner, getting rid of this stuff, getting rid of the lines, lots of fun stuff, changing the words here, you know, we'll cover hopefully everything one would need to know to get at least started. First thing is first, you want to get acquainted with the inspect element, because you'll probably use it a lot. When you're looking at your subreddit and you want to know I don't even know what I'm doing, you know? But, you know, you don't want to ask for help. You want to, like, oh, I want to figure it out myself. You pick what you want to change, you know, whether it be the picture or the title or this picture. Anything. If you want to change something, you can right click Inspect Element and you will find it. Once you find it, it'll be a lot easier to figure out how to edit it on your own than just, you know, guessing. So if you go to this for example, you come with this and you can see all the different colors that are set up to it and here, let's see, the margin, as you can see changing the margin on the right, um, let's see where, here, this inherited it from the entire page is the font and all that stuff, so if you change that it loses its default font and goes back to its default default font. And that's how you're going to find a lot of stuff, and it'll be helpful for changing colors on things, and so on and so forth. The next just as important thing is the actual, if not maybe more important, I don't know, maybe I'm going out of order here, is the actual coding place. In order to get there, you go into subreddit settings, scroll down to here, to the look and feel, and you go to edit the style sheet. Now, if you haven't done anything, this is going to be completely empty. But once you start changing things, then it will fill up. Here is the code section. You have save and preview. Preview is, let's say you change something, you can hit preview and it all looks great. But let's say you hit preview and it all looks terrible and the entire computer blows up. You can refresh the page if your monitor is still intact. And it'll be like it never happened. Save, on the other hand, is like the big rig red button, you know, be careful. Unless you are sure that's good, don't click save. But, let's just say I like delete everything, right, and then click save, right, and just like invalidates and whatever. But let's say it did work. Um, but it doesn't matter. You can, as long as you don't move and do anything and you can still see the box, you can hit control Z and it goes back, just like in, you know, Microsoft Word. Save, back to normal. Down here we have your image holding section, your little inventory of images. This is basically your inventory. Yeah, I guess, you know, that's a fine way of putting it. Anything you upload here, you hit choose file, you can upload a picture, whether it be something you want to use as a background, something you want to use as a banner, or this picture, or, you know, sprites to cover these, because I have not, I don't know, that's just weird. But you upload them to here, and then you can use them into the code. It's the only thing you're going to be uploading, because everything else, positions, you know, sizes, shapes, lines, and all that other s stuff, you can just edit with code. Pictures, you can't just pull out of thin air. You have to reference them from somewhere. I haven't tried, you know, doing it with online stuff, although I'm sure you can. Mostly just because online stuff is very, you know, iffy. You know, it could be there, it could be not there. Someone could move it, and you have no control over it. You upload it to here, and you can just reference it straight into the code, and it'll pull it out of here, and all will be well in the world. Um, I think that's all the basic stuff that is needed to know for editing, and I will take any suggestions in the comments of anyone who, you know, wants something specific that they see here and wants to know how to do it. I will cover that first, or I'll just pick something at random over the next couple of days and start making videos until I cover everything I can. 
So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.